What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, everybody? I hope everybody's having a good one. I got a quick little video for you. This is going to be really nice. You're going to enjoy this. Um, in case you don't have enough money to go ahead and get and invest into a really nice green screen like a lot of people do, um, then this is going to be a really nice tip for you. This is going to be a good little workaround. So I'm going to show you a little trick here. This is going to be really cool. Um, doesn't cost you anything at all. Nice. Hey, see? Green screen effect. All right. Now you want to see how you want to, how I just did that? I'm going to show you how I did it. All right. So let's go over here. So here we are. Um, you're going to go to Google, uh, Firefox, Internet Explorer, whatever you use. Type in OBS background removal. The first link that pops up is going to be OBS. You're going to want to tap on that link. Once you tap on that link, it'll say background removal, virtual green screen, and low light enhanced V1.1.13. You're going to tap on the go download that, go to download button. Once you get here, there's going to be a couple of different downloads for you. You're going to have Mac OS. This one here should be an edit for Mac OS. These are the two Windows downloads, the fast installer and then the slow install or the uh, yeah, slow installer. Um, then you got the two Linux downloads here. For us personally on Windows, we're going to want to click on this one right here. Once you do, I've already done this quite a few times, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this one, this one and I'm going to leave that one. Um, you're gonna hit run on it. Once you run it, you're gonna go ahead and well, heck, why not? Just to give the example, you're gonna open file, run. Let it do its thing. All right, then you're gonna get this window. You're gonna hit next, install, let it install. Once it installs, it should naturally just bring up a finish window. All right, so then it's done. Now, the next best thing is to go ahead and open up your OBS. <coughs> and you might, if it's already open, go ahead and close it and then reopen it. Then you're gonna search for your camera button. If it's locked, you're not gonna see this box here. So you're gonna wanna search down for your video capture device and you're gonna see the lock button. You're gonna unlock it and I'll show you. See, like you can't do anything. You're gonna unlock it. Then you're gonna right click on, you're gonna click on your camera. Then you're gonna right click on your camera and go down to filters. Once you get the filters, you're gonna tap on plus and then go to background removal. It's in ABC order, so it's right there. Hit OK. Once you're in there, oh, hold on. Sorry, I did the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing. I was on the wrong one. Tee -hee -hee. Here we go. On the camera. No, 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 no. Or you can just go over here to sources and tap on video capture device and then hit on filters and then it's right here. Or since I have it there, I'm gonna remove it and add it and then there's background removal. Okay. Then boom, there you go. Up there. Easy. Fast. It doesn't get any better than that. You know what I'm saying? So there's a quick little one good one for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tapping in. Um, please hit that subscribe button, like button, comment. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you guys.